guys, my name is Stevie and I built a house. The wonderful Adam and Eve are sponsoring this video. Watch till the end to get a special offer on some good toys. So during these apocalypse times, I've been lovingly stranded on the English countryside. And if you're from England, my English countryside is called Blackpool. So do it that way you will. Look at how cute the toy boy is. You look very cute on camera. Anyway, I am stranded here with some surprisingly even-tempered people. And as great as they are, I really wanted to make something. And willing yourself into the third term of pregnancy doesn't work. Believe me, I've tried. So since I couldn't will myself into pregnancy, obviously the next step is to build a tiny summer house in the backyard. And I was really inspired by this commercial. Somebody burned down my she shed. Nobody burned down your she shed, Cheryl. Well, my she shed's on fire. So in these times where you really can't leave your house, um, having an outdoor space was really exciting and also focusing on something other than the end of the world. It was also really exciting for me. So I decided to make a she shed. Wait, a he head, a they then. <laughs> Anyway, so I decided to make a they bed. So in the back garden before I built the they bed was this little, they call it a Wendy house. Is it called a Wendy house here? It was a Wendy house that was literally had a hole in the roof. There was like snakes and rats living in it. Like it was way past its days. So we had to tear that down first. Demolition day. All right. Are you, are you gonna work from I'm home or? And the Wendy house proved to be a little more difficult to tear down than I originally thought, but also incredibly more fun. It doesn't fly into all of me. Oh, well, it came Certainly. off. <laughs> 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 so after we cleared the spot and it literally took so long, so many days, full days of working at trying to get these tree roots out of the existing space so we could try to make it as level as possible before we put the shed face down. It was so infuriating. The most infuriating part of this whole process was trying to remove these giant tree roots. Then it was time to set down a membrane and I would make a joke about membranes here, but I don't understand science. I'm a woman. So we have the membrane down and the shed base. And now Josie decided to start helping because she just wants to pour some rocks. I carried that over here. Get out. And always be sure to treat people that you're working with with the utmost respect. Hey! I'm going to start with my sandals now. Whoops. I'm also including this clip just to a specific and underrepresented fetish of pale, thin British girls putting rocks into holes. How you feel? Great. I hope it was good for you, Janine. Then we had to get drilling and screwing. Before continuing to the next part, it's important that your shed is intimidated by you and understands that you are the boss. To accomplish this, we showed our shed our funky fresh moves. And the shed was so scared that it literally folded under the pressure. I was so upset when the the floor broke. Basically the screws just like split the wood on the other side. It was a nightmare. And then Jenna came and helped us. And it was much better. And then at this point in the process, we were all having fun in a stress-free environment and everything was just a great time. I'm so mad! Hey, here's a fun riddle. How many people does it take to flip a wall upside down? It's just like my last orgy. We could have used more people, but we made it work with three. Why are you gonna stop making sex jokes about me and my sister? <laughs> I did not approve of this script. Oh, you gotta leave that in. Eventually, we did manage to get the floor down, and then it was my favorite time of the day. That's right, walls o'clock. <laughs> then aliens invaded and blurred over my camera, and then the shed was magically built. Just kidding, we made a bunch of progress and then something that I've never heard of before started happening and it happens a lot in England, I guess. It's called Rayan, Rian, Rian. 
I don't know, it's wet and it comes from the sky like all day, every single day for like a month. Weird. Um, and at this point, the instructions literally said, do not attempt to put together if it's windy or rainy. And I was like, this is way above my pay grade. So let's post on Facebook and hire someone to come and finish for us. So we hired a man to perform manual labor for us while we creepily filmed him from the bushes. So the building of the shed is done. I just have two things to do, decorate and then rent out a 10 square foot area to a really nice family for years and years, and then gradually keep increasing the rent until they're forced to leave. Mm, capitalism joke. It's funny because it's sad and it's sad because it's true. It's not true. I'm not actually gonna rent out a shed. That'd be weird. Have you ever heard of adamandeve.com? They are the wonderful sponsor of this video and they have all of the sex toys you could ever want and need. And if you use my coupon code Stevie, you get 50% off one single item and free shipping to the US and Canada. So <laughs> I've been saying I'm gonna, I was gonna do this for a while and I thought that decorating the shed, which will be my next video, was a perfect opportunity. <laughs> I made a glass dildo wind chime. And this is how I did it. I got these gold rings and some twine and six glass dildos slash butt plugs. And I made this. <laughs> oh my God. Ow. <laughs> Just got hit in the head with my dildo chime. Ah, uh, the beautiful sounds in the morning. <laughs> Oh my God, I can't wait to hang this up. This is so good. Thanks so much to Adam and Eve for sponsoring this video and sponsoring my um, wind chime dreams. Don't forget to check out adamandeve.com where you can use my coupon code Stevie for 50% off almost anything, plus free shipping to the US and Canada. So that was the building of my they bed. I hope you enjoyed. And let me know in the comments below what color you think I should paint it. How should I decorate it? What should I, what should the vibe be? Let me know in the comments. And thank you so much to my wonderful patrons for making videos like this one possible <laughs> and sponsoring my horrible ideas like making a dildo wind chime. Okay, love you guys, bye.